So, yeah. I feel like this was some, I think you both were single. I feel like um, it never got off the ground, but there was a soul contract here. Somebody made the judgment stay into confusion. They, they didn't ever move forward. What is this person's intentions? They are coming back, Aquarius. And just as I said that, got the devil here. Wheel of Fortune, Four of Cups upright. They're not letting go of you. They plan to come back. You're very guarded against this person, Aquarius. You got 77. This is definitely a lucky, a lucky connection. Because the wheel of fortune and two sevens. But this has come full circle. There is an ending and a new beginning. Maybe an ending to you holding on to this person. To stand in your guard. To ignore. Or to let go of. I should say. The illusions. Because. There wasn't a whole lot to go on. In this situation Aquarius. Wasn't a whole lot to go on at all. What is the next action. That this person is going to take. Sorry guys, a hard time pulling them apart. Wow. Ten of Wands. <coughs> you might be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. I got Virgo, Gemini, and Leo, Scorpio on the board. And you, uh, and Pisces, my bad, my bad. Pisces. Got Pisces one, two. Got Pisces twice here. Somebody's going to offer you a brand new beginning in love. Could be a Virgo. Somebody that went deep within to get the answer they needed to come forward to you. They used their intuition. And they're scared to death, but they're here. Okay? They're coming. I don't see long distance travel, but I do see, um, I do see somebody coming back with the Six of Cups and the World card. I definitely see somebody coming back. Why is this important, Spirit? Why is, why is this connection important two of cups because your both have been through a lot especially in this person might have hurt you Okay, the reason why this is important is because you both are working and fighting for a better life. You both are in the same energy. That's why it's important because you both hurt. You're both working on yourselves. Fighting your demons to wish fulfillment because that's fair. Okay? 
You both have the same heartbreak. You both have been through a lot. A lot. What is the final outcome here, Spirit? What is the final outcome? Wow. Page of Cups. Eight of Cups. King of Swords. Queen, uh, Nine of Swords. Queen of Wands. And the Sun. Again, we have Leo Energy. This person walked away from you. But they're coming back. Because they're stressed out and losing sleep over Queen of Wands, which is you. That is their everything. I mean, can't get no better than the sun. Now, either this Queen of Wands walked away from you or you walked away from them. But the final outcome of this is quite beautiful. If you allow it. You know, I'm not going to... You know, tell you what to do as far as how to decide your fate with this person. That's free will. That's your choice. I just give you the messages. All right. Let me see what Spirit's advice is on this. Pay attention to your choices when your wishes and don't get stuck. This is going to be a risk. And it probably took a while to get here. Spirit's advice is take the risk. Pay attention to where you walk, though. Make sure that that mask is off of that other person. Make sure that you're getting the real deal, is what I'm hearing. And this choice that needs to be made about your wish... Spirit wants you to be crystal clear about this. The Hierophant. Because this is going to directly affect your spiritual growth. Or not. Hanged Man. Another Pisces card. And here we have Pisces and Taurus. Leo, Capricorn. No, is that Capricorn? No. My bad. No Capricorn. And then we have the fool taking a leap of faith, taking a risk. As far as I can see, Spirit says, go for it. What was this person confused about in the past? What was this person confused about? Why did they not come forward to Aquarius? They spun the wheel the other way. Nine of Pentacles. This person decided to turn that wheel of fortune into the Eight of Wands, the Three of Wands, and Death. Okay, what I'm getting from this is that this person was waiting for this death to happen before they could send a message to you and spin that wheel in your direction. All right, so... Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. This person had to wait to spin that wheel until this death happened so they can be reborn all right okay where you're at with this in the meantime things you, you're not seeing yet Aquarius this might come all at once with the wheel of fortune here twice it's something big I mean it's something that's going to change your life so 
Wheel of Karma is turning there's judgment again for the second time. Eight of Swords. Wow. Aquarius, you don't want nothing to do with this Queen of Wands. <laughs> I'm just saying. You're probably going to hurt her feelings. Or his, if it's a man. But you're probably going to end up hurting this person's feelings. Because you're just... It's like, no. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, my hands are tied. My hands are tied because my heart is broken. Because you went a different direction than me. You went to somebody else. That was your judgment. My judgment now is to walk away from you. I'm feeling no second chances here. What is the intention? Let's clarify the intention here. We already worked out the beginning of it, but what? Give us some more information. They love you. The Lovers, the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. They're holding on with everything they got. Aquarius. Could be a Gemini. Um, somebody who's breadcrumbing you. Somebody who's got a lot of problems. And I think they're looking at you thinking that you're going to help solve them. Nobody can solve your problems but you. Everybody can make it look good, but nobody can solve them but you. What's their action, spirit? What is their action with this situation? What are they going to do? Because it doesn't look like Aquarius is having anything to do with this person. They make things look good. Alright? Whether they are or not, they make it look good. Four of Cups on the bottom. I feel like you're letting go of them. Because they're scared. They're scared of commitment. Strength, Leo, Capricorn, energy here together tells me that this person wants that new beginning in love. But they're scared to death of commitment. Yeah, yeah. So what are you coming back for? That makes no sense. Why is this important, Spirit? Why is this important for my Aquarius Collective? Queen of Swords. Because this is just how karma works. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords, the Two of Pentacles. Somebody's stuck. One or, one or the other is stuck, trying to juggle too many things, including the truth. But they made a choice to go to their Ten of Cups. Total wish fulfillment. This could be a family. Okay. So. Getting unstuck. 
for both of you is why this is important. What's the final outcome, Spirit? What's the final outcome? Sorry, guys. I'm a little off my game today. I worked all weekend. Um, you saw that one, didn't you? Ah, I got a couple of them. Yep. Pisces could be spying on you. You're guarded. Final outcome is justice for this queen of king queen king of wands because there's a queen of wands here. Could be dealing with a Virgo or Libra. Someone's gonna rush in without thinking. Careful, careful. You don't know what you're getting, gonna get into. Be careful. There is no commitment from this person. Even though they're your perfect match, they don't wanna commit. I feel somebody wants to play the field here, have their cake and eat it too. That'll get you an STD. <laughs> yeah, for you and the other person. Mm -mm -mm. Be careful with that, guys. I'm just saying. Somebody wants commitment and somebody doesn't. And they're spying on you big time. Wow. Five of Cups as spiritual advice. That's wild. The Tower. The Ten of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. And the Nine of Swords. Scorpio. Somebody's going to shock you, Aquarius. With the sun here and Scorpio here and justice here, this is going to come as a really big surprise. It's family. It's your ten of pentacles. It's having everything. Stability, comfort. The things that you want to keep. It's coming in fast. This is fast moving energy. And with this card, I'm feeling different levels, different devils. Okay. You are increasing your wealth tenfold. You are coming into some money, some generational wealth, and New levels, new devils. Okay. Spirit is giving you a heads up that there will be some, some things you have to work out when this blessing comes in. There's regret, sadness, and remorse here. I don't know whose end that's from. I think it's the other person. But... You know, the other person may have gone through a real death. I mean, that could be why they're in the Five of Cups energy. I just don't think you're expecting this person to come forward. You're, you're in the energy is like, nah, you know, I'm good. I got over you. You confused me before and I followed you around like a little puppy dog. And then you just disappeared. Like I said, I think this is not like a regular relationship, but you guys are a perfect match. Whether you know it or not. Okay. Family secrets.
That just got weird. That just got really weird. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But I might be channeling a spirit here. This person might have passed away. And you're about to get an uh, a, a visit from an official person. But I don't think you're expecting them. I don't think that that's something. Th I think that's something beyond your sight at this point. We have a mature man and a wealthy man of high honor here. So, this person may have passed away. Might have been the father to this person. That could be what this is about. But you're both held in high regard. Whether it be male or female, you know, it could be mother, son, mother, daughter. It's just the energy of the cards. Um... I do feel like this is, like I said, this is generational wealth. And it's coming to the next person in line. And through this death, someone becomes a wealthy person. Wow. Like I said, that just got weird. Sorry, guys. I, I'm not much for channeling spirits. But they jump in my readings every once in a while. You walked away from this person regardless. This could be somebody you were married to. but somebody who still loves you unconditionally. Somebody, like I said, there was a marriage here, but it, was, it, was, it wasn't real. There was, there was something that wasn't real about it. Somebody wasn't showing their true feelings. They were pretending and gaslighting the other person. And the other person made choices, made healthy choices in love and in life. There is a three-party situation here. Like I said, there, there's a lot of confusion on your end, Aquarius. And you don't see what's, what's about to happen, but it's about to happen. I'm not, you know, I can't tell you when. Okay. All right, so it's not a spirit is somebody who is dying. And the other one is very, very hurt. They don't want to talk to him. Could be, like I said, this could be an age difference of a wedding or, or a marriage, you know, like 20 years difference in a marriage. Somebody didn't show their true feelings about, so they made a healthy choice and walked away, decided to do some self-care and be happier. There is some attraction, flirting, dating, and hooking up. Could be with someone who is interested in your money. Just saying. But I don't think anybody wants to talk about this right now. Somebody's still mad. Somebody's still mad. But they are expecting the other one to do what's right by them. That doesn't seem fair. That doesn't seem fair at all. Let me get a Hidden Realms from you, for you. See if I can get you some advice. Advice. You should see the stack of cards I got here. <laughs> All right, let's see. 
get some advice for my Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus on this situation because it's kind of crazy. And this person may have passed. I don't know. That you you take how it resonates, okay? I can tell the story, but I can't tell your story unless we are directly connected. This is a general reading. Alright, where's my book? Where's my book? There it is. Alright, let's see what we get from the hidden realm. Spirit, what advice do you have for my Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Venus is retrograde, by the way. The fire prince in reverse. Ooh. It's telling you to be a little more aggressive. Uh there Aquarius uh, because you're it's the only way you're gonna get what you want let's see fire prince in reverse one 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 no way one 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 might be specific number for you okay this came in in reverse so it came in as a challenger uh, sun's hitting it this says, there are a couple messages delivered by the fire prince, so take heed as one or both could pertain to you now. Be mindful of starting a fire you can't put out. Aggressive action results in loss. Slow down and don't be so eager to reach your goal. Stay clear of someone else's unbridled ambition and aggression as well. If you, could get, if you think you could get burned, you most certainly will, unless you remove yourself from the action. When the fire prince arrives as a challenger, he could also be warning of you, warning you to be careful of burnout. This might pertain to workaholism or obsessively focusing on something you want, excluding all else. You may be afraid to let go, but you must. If you keep going the way you are, truly you won't have any energy left, nor will you see the way through your path. It's easy to get lost in the dark when there's no flame to light the way. So, I was opposite of that. I was thinking that, that aggression was needed. But letting go seems to be the message here. Because you need to remove yourself from the action. Remove yourself from it. Not today. Somebody's going to try to come in and seduce you. Not today. They're still in a three-party situation. So be mindful of that. Okay, Aquarius? Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you next time. Till then, stay safe, stay well. Take care. Bye-bye.